Hey, my name is Solomon Onita Jr. and I am from Houston, Texas, but currently living in Los Angeles, California. My film is called Tasmanian Devil, and it's about a boy named Dio who moves to America from Nigeria to live with his estranged father, but then they're put at odds when Dio decides to join a college fraternity. Essentially, the film is a coming-of-age story. It's about choosing your own path, it's about identity, and it's about culture clashes. Many Nigerian immigrants who move to America, they view fraternities as a very destructive, dangerous, uh, organization to join. They're pretty much like gangs that you see here in America. And so when my main character Dio moves to America, he sees a very different fraternity than, than what he knew from back home. This film is very different than other films that deal with fraternity culture. This film makes a positive case for fraternities rather than just repeating old tired stereotypes. I think BET Networks and, and Paramount Players should make this movie because of its originality its relatability, and I believe it will, it will resonate with a lot of audiences. One, it's an immigrant story, so people who are not native to this land, they will find a lot of honesty, a lot of truth in this story. MPAC organizations is really ingrained within the African American community. This story really speaks true to these organizations, and I, I believe its members will find a lot of, a, a lot of honesty with, uh, with this movie. I believe this film will grab a lot of people's attention, and I believe that it will show a more accurate view of what these organizations mean to its members. Filmmaking and storytelling is important to me because it gives me a voice almost. It allows me to explore my different personalities within different characters. It allows for me to express a diverse point of view. It allows me to put a lot of my ideas and concepts and, and put them behind the face of a character. As an artist, it's like with filmmaking, Everything that goes on, everything, everything that you think of, you can, you can always repurpose it within your story. So as I develop as a person, I just kind of put that all back into my, into my filmmaking. It's my own personal voice. Also, filmmaking gives me a way to dive into social and cultural issues, and it, it allows me to expand on the different perspectives that you see in different communities, it pretty much transports you. It takes you to, to all aspects of life, and that's what's really exciting, exciting to me about filmmaking, more so than any other medium. It's like you can really be ingrained into a whole new society, a whole new way of thinking, a whole new universe, a whole new perspective through, through storytelling. And it's so immersive that once, once you come out of the experience, it's like, oh, I'm back in my own reality, I'm back in my own body, but I just experienced somebody else's reality for that for those two hours the greatest black film ever made i don't know it's still a debate to me i don't know if i can just well for me what resonates the most to me as an artist is uh coming to america i, I saw that as a kid and it was just the funniest thing i i, I rewatched coming to america maybe once every two years or so but more recently black panther and that's because what black panther did like with the with the amount of resources that was given to that movie it was so unapologetic with this narrative that it was just for black people. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know if I can really truly articulate how that film touched me as a fan and as a filmmaker. It reached black people, but it, it, I mean, obviously it went beyond just, just black folks. Like it broke almost every record in the, in the box office. So it, between those two movies, those are the greatest black films ever made. My name is Solomon Onita Jr. And to me, Project Create means opportunity. To follow my journey, check out Project Create.